So for the last few months, my weight has been going up and up and up and up and I haven't felt optimum. You know what that means. What? It's challenge time. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I wanna take a moment to be brutally honest with you guys. I've been super unhappy about my weight for the last few months. I'm right now sitting right around 200 pounds, and just to give you some perspective, for the last two years, my weight has fluctuated between 182 and 185. That means over the last four to five months, I've put on about 15 to 20 pounds. Quarantine. The really frustrating thing is, I haven't had one meal off of keto, and I'm not overeating my calories, and on most days, I eat less than 15 total carbs. Mm -hmm. Last week, I decided to do a jumpstart using a protein sparing modified fast. Rachel kind of came along with me for the ride, but wasn't gonna take it super serious. But then I ended up having an allergy attack and a couple of nights with poor sleep. So I'm restarting it and now Rachel is gonna be with me. Yeah, I've decided to join in too because I've been you know, pretty stagnant lately in this season. So for the next week, both of us are going to do a protein sparring modified fast as an experiment to see if it helps to get us on the right track. Now, we're gonna talk about what we're going to actually be doing. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about what a protein sparing modified fast is. See, the idea is to reduce your calories to the lowest possible threshold while still eating enough protein to preserve lean tissue mass and get enough micronutrients to avoid deficiencies. Basically, this is a kind of starvation, so you get the same metabolic you know, benefits that you do with a real fast, but the additional protein and nutrients make the challenge a little less risky and minimize muscle loss. Yeah, now we're going to be following the protocol from Maria Emmerich, and I'm gonna leave a link for her website down below. That's where we're gonna figure out all our macros from. And what that means is we're gonna have four to five days where we eat low calories with a high protein and a moderate amount of fat, and then two to three days where we eat extremely low calories with very high protein and only 30 grams of fat. Now, we want to be clear, this is not a good idea to yeah. do for long term because you can mess up your metabolism. The idea is to do it for one to two weeks to break a stall or to get a good jump start. Yeah, so my macros, okay, this is how they're gonna work. We're gonna have a high fat day and then we're gonna have a low fat day. On the high fat day, it's gonna be 1,512 calories, which is low for me, 140 grams of protein, 20 total carbs, and 97 grams of fat. On a high protein day, it's gonna be 962 calories, 158 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat and 15 total carbs. On my macros for a high fat day, they're gonna be at 1225 calories, 106 protein, 80 grams of fat and 20 carbs. And on a high protein day, they're gonna be 790 calories, 117 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat and 15 total carbs. 798 calories. Not a great day for me. So each day we're going to meticulously weigh and track our food and then we're gonna vlog what we're eating to see what the results Results are at the end of the week. But before we can do that, we've got to head to the store and get some leaner meats and vegetables. <laughs> well, the cool thing about this fast is even though we're eating much lower calories, we're eating lower fat. So I think we're still gonna have a decent portion, not a huge portion, but you're gonna be surprised how much food you get when you're eating only 30 grams of fat, because that is not a lot of fat, but not it's gonna to. be a lot of egg whites. Ooh, let's get this thing started. Okay, so this is totally awkward. We're gonna have to eat in our bedroom because the kids are out there filming elementary. So, hey, it's a good thing though. We get to watch a movie because I have been trying to finish 
Patriot Games for like three days. Except for we're going to finish Knives Out. But I want to watch Patriot Games. Knives Out. I'm really into some of like, you know, the Jack Ryan movies lately. Okay, so today's going to be a high fat day. It's not high fat like we're normally eating, but it's higher fat. And then tomorrow will be a very high protein day, but lower calories. So let's show you guys real quick what we're gonna eat. So this is our first meal. We still have a bunch left over for the day. She's got three eggs. We've got some of those shrimp. There's about 10 shrimp that we got at Costco. One of those chicken sausages, and then one ounce of that like shredded Mexican cheese. And uh, also, this is the spicy tomato ketchup because, uh, yeah, we can't have tart uh, cocktail sauce. Then we have a little tiny salad, just a little one serving of lettuce with a couple of cucumber slices. And that is a little bit of our coleslaw that we make. You ready? I'm ready. It's dinner time. We get to eat again. Actually, we have one more thing after this. We're still gonna have like during our live stream or either probably like right after our live stream, we're gonna have a keto chow, which we're not gonna film, so I'm telling you now. Keto chow with only almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, no fats added. So like a protein shake. Like a protein shake. Here's what we got. This is a super simple throw together meal. It's an entire can of the Kirkland chicken breast. Three Each. and a half servings in that can. Mm -hmm. On top of it, we I put a half a serving of the Rao's marinara sauce. Which so it's kind of like lot. a chicken parmesan with one ounce, one serving of shredded mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. And then this, because we didn't have enough macros, I know you wanted Quest chips, but I did. it's keto chow or Quest chips, your choice. I want keto chow and pork rinds are always good, awesome. Right, so the pork rinds fit perfectly in our macros. Spicy? Where we, and no, nope, better than spicy, this is the pizza flavor to go along with like a chicken parmesan. How cute! Are you being serious right now? Is this what we're eating? Yeah, why not? Is this all we're eating? Maybe. Oh, I see stuff over there. I just got happy because I was like, are we just eating a couple of shrimp and some lettuce? What is happening? I get excited when I see sauces. Yay! I look like a hot, mess of crazy <laughs> but i got my steps in are you super proud i am very proud of you it was not easy today it is 90 degrees outside and i did not want to move at all like not even get off the couch okay this looks good aha aha you're still working on the flavors that i don't like is that it? This apple one? Apple and ginger, it's, all of these are very distinct flavors. They are very distinct They're flavors. cool, but if you, you either like them or you just don't like them. Yep. Day two of the protein sparing modified fast. This looks really good. So this is a low calorie, low fat day. When I say low fat, like 30 total grams of fat for the day. So... Now we're gonna have this, and then there's a little bit of room left for a protein shake. We'll have a keto chow protein shake with two cups of almond milk, no fat added at all. And that's and our then, meal. And then you're gonna have about one and a half servings, so about a half a can of the Kirkland chicken breast. That's that's all of your food for the day, and then this. All right, well this, so this looks is good. Really high protein macros again. We're gonna put them across the bottom. So this is the recipe we're working on. This is a chicken piccata. I feel like I'm at a wedding. Very low fat, very high protein because we're using chicken breast, and it's basically chicken breast, and then we're using a little bit of almond flour, and then pork rinds as a little bit of a breading. Nice. A lemon sauce with lemon, it's just lemon juice and chicken breast, a little bit of war gum to thicken it up. You mean chicken broth? Chicken broth, chicken broth. And then we've got a little like tossed green salad. Is that Fox Hill? One serving of the Fox Hill kitchen uh, croutons. croutons. A serving of shrimp, again, high protein, no fat. The best. Cocktail sauce replacement. Yep, and this this is um, a tablespoon of the Alterna Sweets spicy, spicy ketchup. ketchup. It's the bomb. So that's day two. How'd you do yesterday? I did awesome. Yeah. I stayed on plan, but yesterday was a fat day. Right. So. Yesterday was a high calorie day. Right. Well, so. 
higher calorie than than this day. But it's 315. Mm -hmm. I have high hopes that I can be successful the rest of the day if I haven't like screwed up yet. Like, I think we have good hopes. So we may put a picture in of what we eat later, but after we eat, we're having a date day. So we're probably not turning the camera back on. And for dinner, we're gonna split a keto chow ice cream made with four ounces of heavy cream. So day three, it's late. It's like 7.30. No, it's like 7.50. 7.50, been working on a chicken coop all day. So here's what we've got. We've got a bed of lettuce. Yes. We each have a half a pound of 85.15 ground beef. That sounds good. Okay, then we have some of the Kirkland's shredded chicken breast. I've got a full can. Rachel's got like a little bit more than a half a can that we have taco season on all of this. Then we have a, two tablespoons of sour cream. That's what that is. One tablespoon of salsa, one ounce of cheese. That's on here. Macros for all of this is down below. And then we each have two eggs and Quest chip nachos. Now this is the higher calorie day. So my calories are right around 1500. Yours are right around 1200, higher fat day. And then we're going to have a protein shake for dessert, which is just gonna be a keto chow with two cups of almond milk, no extra fat. Neither one of us are hitting our fat goal, but we're just over the protein goal, which is completely fine. And I'm it's okay using, to not get all your fat in. I'm using my fat. We're using our fat, uh, but we're within our calorie goal. Neither one of us are hitting our carb limit for the day, which is 20 total carbs today, 15 on the lower day. And that's it. So we redid our macros and we're having keto chow ice cream, chocolate toffee made with 10 ounces of almond milk, a half a serving of our yogurt. I'll put a link to the recipe up in the top. So it's 545 and uh, we're gonna eat our first meal. Today is a low calorie, low fat day. So this is mostly lettuce. You're gonna see a big bed of lettuce there. We have a half a green pepper that we split between the two of us and just like a couple of slivers of onions, one tablespoon of sour cream, a little bit of salsa. We're gonna split a bag of the Quest protein chips. And then this is like a very, very lean shredded beef that we got from Aldi. And uh, I think between the two plates, each plate only has 10 grams of fat as far as the beef goes. So this will be our first meal, and then we'll probably have some kind of a protein shake later on. What a long day. It's my favorite time of day, time to eat. <laughs> I was talking about how long the day is. We, we got so much accomplished. We started working on the chicken coop, or, or, or continued working on the chicken coop. Church. Church, you went on a date with Anthony. Keto on the couch. We did film Keto on the couch. We did a live stream. Now it's time to eat. It's time to eat, first meal. Uh, now we are going to also have probably a protein shake later on, although yesterday we turned it into like ice cream. This looks very much like a tortilla. Okay, so here's what we got. We got, this is my variation. So I took the Armstrong sisters, their carnivore tortilla. Right. Tweaked it a little bit. Added a little bit of Redmond seasoned salt. Added some more egg whites. Added a little bit of cheese. Okay, so I'm interested talking. to see what you think of those. Ground bison, one tablespoon of sour cream, a half a serving of cheese because oh my goodness, there's yes. cheese in the tortillas. That is good. Shrimp, all of that's got taco seasoning on it. Then we've got some egg whites. It's about three eggs worth of egg whites with Redmond on it now, it doesn't look the greatest because I just threw it on the Blackstone after cooking everything else, but I'm sure it tastes great. It tastes really good. I actually thought it was chicken. So I'm glad you said that. Cause I was so like, oh, it's chicken salad. Just egg white, but with Redmond on it. Again, doesn't look the prettiest because we cooked it on the Blackstone and stuff instead of like in a pan. Tastes good. Then we got a little bit of salad. So as always, macros across the bottom. This by the way is the low calorie day. So mine are around 900, sad? yours are around 800. But again, very high protein. We're limited to 30 grams of fat, which we're pretty much maxed out here. But this is all protein. Shrimp, high protein, no fat. Gotta Egg whites, high protein, no fat. So we're getting creative and we're eating different. What is this gelatinous goo you have sitting next to you? It's 5.30. We're having our first meal. 
We filmed three weeks of preschool. We're about to film a recipe video. You wrote all the scripts. Like, I feel like I'm done for the day, but like, nope, no. there's more day to come. So I've got a new recipe for you to try. And this is the perfect day because it's a low calorie, high protein, very low fat. So this is like a protein shake mixed with eggs. It's supposed to be like a custard. So that'll be your first meal while I'm preparing for our recipe video. What is this? I actually want to try it. It does look like, like a custard. Like an egg custard. I gotta say, it's not horrible. It looks disgusting. It, it tastes, doesn't look great. It tastes very like sweet. It looks like runny eggs. Mmm. If you like hot cereal, oatmeal, like, you know, soft, warm, breakfasty feel to stuff. Mm -hmm. This was good. It's got like the pudding skin, which I'm sorry, I loved. When you would cook pudding like on the stove and stuff. Well, you go eat that. I'll finish setting up for our recipe video. Well, we were in the middle of filming a recipe video. I'm in the middle of tasting it. And we just like started eating and forgot to tell you guys what we were eating for the day. So this is actually for two different videos. This is for our Protein Sparing Modified Fast Challenge as well as today's vlog. So this is a chicken piccata. It is so good. Recipe video coming soon. If uh, you see this after the video is released, I'll leave a link up here. Otherwise, just make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can watch out for that video. This is really delicious. It is very high in protein, very low in fat. No wedding necessary. Because this is the wedding meal, right? That, that's right. Mm. Mm. I don't know what capers are for, but I feel like it's adding something. Well, it's been seven days on the Protein Sparing Modified Fast. And we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> now, we didn't film every single day. Obviously, we missed a couple days. We just forgot to turn the camera on. We did or some repeat food. Repeat foods, things we like that. We stuck to it. And you got the idea of what we were eating on it. Now, I want to talk about this a little bit because we have some mixed feelings on the Protein Sparing Modified Fast. My feelings are not mixed. You're not mixed? <laughs> now, I want to start off with... We did have some results. So I lost five pounds and about an inch and a half off of my waist. I didn't bother checking all the other measurements, but the waist is the one that I'm the most concerned about. And I went down about two pounds, but I'm not sure if that's true because I had like an ant's flow come visit in the midst of everything. So Well, you lost weight in the middle of that, in, so that's a good thing. Yes, exactly. But at what cost, Joe? At what cost? Well... With that said, let's talk about the positives and the negatives. Lead with the negatives. For me, I feel like the protein sparing modified fast is too restrictive. And because of that, it felt very much like a diet. Whereas keto feels like a lifestyle and I've never felt deprived on keto. I felt like I was in a deprivation diet. I was mostly ticked off <laughs> the entire time. And one of the reasons why is because High protein, low fat food tastes not like what I've been used to on keto. Right. Because fat adds flavor. We probably would have enjoyed it more if we would have started on to keto with this. Yes. But it would have been difficult because you weren't going to have the fat to sustain you, which we'll talk about in a minute. Yes, but I could totally see where if you were transitioning from a Weight Watchers diet where or you're used to system, high protein, low fat, and you're anticipating deprivation, like you're anticipating being ticked off, right? it would be a way to transition the carbs out of your life and, and just and get into focusing on protein and using your own fat as, as the, uh, as the rudder. Let's talk about the next negative. And I, cause I think it kind of ties the first two in and that is the food was lackluster, not flavorful. And like, there wasn't a whole lot of variety. There's only so many foods that you can yeah. find that are very high fat, a uh, high protein with very low fat 
and it's going to taste good. I mean, you're talking about like chicken breast and shrimp, and yes, you could put some seasoning on there, but seasoning is going to bring carbs, but we're used to cooking it in butter, putting some kind of a nice like, you know, cheese sauce or well, something like that on there, and you can't do any of that on a protein sparing modified batch. Because you can't have the fat. So the food lacked flavor, yeah, in my opinion. Because you can't even add the mayonnaise to your tuna fish. Right. Like you're eating tuna fish with just like seasoning on it. Right. No. Now you actually had something else that you felt because the food was lacking flavor that it was triggering you for something else. Yeah, it was. It was triggering my sweet tooth because here's the thing. I can't add fat. I need a little bit of flavor. I'm feeling like I'm totally being deprived. I'm angry. So what would happen is I want to go I want to go put some extra sweetener in my black coffee cuz I can have black coffee. Mm. But I'm like, I need to, at least some sort of a flavor. Right. So I am adding a lot of stevia. Maybe there's no carbs in it, but I'm adding it to every single cup of coffee. And it's totally making me want to have sweet things in my mouth all of the time. Well, there's one more negative, And I think this is a big negative. We found that protein does fill us up during a meal, which yeah. is a good thing, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like a positive and a negative. So yeah. we did find that protein really filled us up during a meal, but, and this is a big but, we found that we were hungry sooner later. Yes. And we were having a hard time extending like our like intermittent fasting window to our normal time where we're usually used to no. going to no problem three o'clock four o'clock oh we were busy we're not gonna eat till six o'clock i thought we were gonna claw each other's eyeballs out at noon the, by noon there were days and you saw it on the video where we didn't eat till five or six o'clock but there was some angriness I was between 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So we were finding like between 11 and 12 o'clock. By that time, we were like ravenously hungry. And this is a couple who have been doing this keto thing for a while. Yeah. I was never expecting that all of a sudden, you know, at noon. I mean, we had been done with eating breakfast for right. a while now. Right. Like we have been done with a hangry feeling. I have not been hangry in two years and all of a sudden I was I was bringing food into every argument okay let's talk about some of the positives because there were some positives the first one would be we did have some results on it yeah I, I would definitely say that's a positive no cops were called to our home that was a positive <laughs> okay another one would be when you can dial it in which is not gonna be easy but when you can dial it in you get a surprising amount of food food yeah. eating very high protein low fat but when i say when you can dial it in because you've really got to figure out your macros i mean it is sitting down on a computer going this is work oh nope that's too much but if you can dial it in you saw our plates that was a substantial amount of food but that also is what kind of made it feel like a diet like what was giving us a substantial amount of food was lettuce a lot fed. of lettuce and things like that but you get a lot of egg whites you can have a yeah. lot of chicken breast so you get a lot of food when you consider there were days where we were eating less than 900 calories i didn't feel deprived with volume of food but i definitely felt like that looked like a weight watcher's plate i've even seen that there are like low carb routes within Weight Watchers and right. that's kind of the way they handle it. Like right. you right. can have a bunch of girth, they're, they're dialing down the carbohydrates and they're giving you a bunch of food, but it is, that looked like a diet plate to me. Uh, another positive would be that we discovered some new foods to eat on keto, things that we haven't eaten in a long time. Yeah, like shrimp. That was definitely something. Fish is not something that we eat all of the time. Definitely, um, we did get a positive. We got the protein um, custard out of it. Yeah, we discovered some recipes. It's funny, when you're up against a wall, you will get creative. And the chicken piccata recipe came yep. out of the Protein Spare Modified Fast Tip. Now the last positive I have, and I think this is a big one, it did help to reset us mentally. Oh yeah, I mean, definitely during this quarantine time, 
structure as far as my eating plan has been very minimal. It's like, don't eat carbs. That's pretty much been the fence that I have put around this, but that's not good. I want to be more focused than that. So it brought discipline into my life. Mm -hmm. I just want to go a different discipline route. So with all that being said, here's our final conclusion. I don't think I would do a protein sparing modified fast again if I needed a reset. For me, I feel like I got better results and I felt better and I felt less deprived doing a 72 hour or longer fast. And I know that sounds weird, Did right? Did you hear that? No food versus this food. It sounds weird, but I felt less deprived when I do an extended fast. I know I can't eat, but by hour 24, I've got more energy than I know what to do with. I've got an incredible amount of mental clarity and I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I feel like I'm on a challenge. Right. Well, same here, same for me. And it's really not that crazy to say that because I think your body knows what to do in starvation mode. Right. It knows what to do in an extended fast. What it doesn't know what to do with is when you're like, here's a little bit of food. You know, I mean, it would rather just get into your stored reserves during a fast then i think it would rather have you like poking it with a stick with a little bit of food right well that's our thoughts on the protein sparing modified fast let us know down in the comments section if you've ever tried one and if you have tried one what did you think yeah now if you like videos like this you can check out a whole list of full day of eatings by checking that link right down there also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find by clicking right down there. But whether you do this or you do that, don't forget to do this. Click the subscribe button, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.